Hey guys, I'm Marty Gay again. This video I just want to share with you guys my review of the Sony Xperia XA1 Ultra that I purchased a couple weeks ago uh, for $349. Normally it goes for around $399. Uh, this phone was released, I think it was on June or May of 2017, something like that. And I just want to share with you guys after two weeks of using it, all, all the things that I like and the things that I didn't like. For example, I really like the screen. The screen is a 6 inch screen, LCD, uh, 1920 by 1080p, and honestly it's pretty cool, it looks really nice, the colors look really good, and also playing video games on it is really awesome because you know you got a way bigger uh, real estate to play your games, and for me that's really really good, uh, playing videos on it is really good from Netflix and from YouTube. Uh, you get, you know, the videos occupy the whole screen. Uh, compared to the Galaxy S8, right, they have the aspect ratio is different. It's like an 18.9 by 5, something like that. So it makes the screen longer and, it, and thinner. That way the phone feels a little bit more easier to grip. This is actually 16 by 9, which is what n the normal videos that people upload on YouTube actually are, right? So when you watch videos on it, XA1 looks bigger than the S8 Plus because it's occupying the whole screen. On the SA Plus, you actually have to press the button to stretch it out, this, the you know, the video, so it can actually see a bigger real estate and you can enjoy your 6.2 inch screen. So I really like the ratio of it. That's why the phone, of course, looks a lot bigger. And of course, the other thing that makes it look bigger is the chin on the top and on the bottom, the borders on the top and bottoms, you know, where it says Sony with the camera and the else and the flash. And on the bottom, there's just the chin that's it just with the microphone and that's it on the sides at least it has no borders whatsoever which is good because it actually makes the phone a lot better to grip as well the other thing that i like is the spec you know the specs wise is pretty decent you know it has the the mediatek helio p20 with four gigabytes of ram which is good and it has 32 gigabytes of internal storage and of course at least it also has the uh, micro sd slot where you, you can actually fit up to 256 gigabytes which is not bad that's pretty good of course this is actually going to work on any gsm carriers t-mobile at&t metro pcs i think the walmart carrier as well something like that all those that are gsm carriers will actually work and the 4g lte is going to definitely work on all those carriers as well which is awesome and for me playing video games on it it has been pretty good nice experience like i said i like the big real estate screen and of course remember this cpu is not as powerful as the snapdragon cpus so some games that are very very power intense you might want to tone down the graphics like if you go to settings try to use mid um, um, quality instead of super high quality that way the games will run a lot smoother and if you do that you're not gonna have problems but almost every other game in the market which is casual and games that I played on the video that you see they play really really smooth and no problems whatsoever also what I like about the Sony Xperia is the cameras the camera on the rear is a 23 megapixel camera and it records great video at 1080p 30 frames per second but with HDR which is cool and it has very good um, optical image stabilization it has really really good the pictures come out really nice I took a whole bunch of pictures which I'm gonna leave a link in my description for all the pictures that I took I made a video just for it and it is, like you see in the video, pictures come out really, really good. Really impressed. I really like it. Uh, very colorful. I think, honestly, they look pretty accurate as well. Also, the front camera is really big as well. It's a 16 megapixel front facing camera with a front facing flash as well, which is something you cannot say from a lot of smartphones out there in the market. So, yeah, when it comes to the camera, I really like it. The front and the rear camera is really good. The camera app, I also like because because it's very very simple to use and it also has like the AR um, effects and it has the, like, the time shift effect which is very convenient as well but I made a video for that so you guys can go ahead and actually see it 
Now, of course, this phone is not perfect. It has some things that I don't like. Like, for example, it only has one speaker in the bottom. And honestly, when you look at this phone fr um, from the front, it actually looks like it has two speakers, uh, which would have been awesome. It would have been awesome to have a, uh, fr two front-facing speakers, but it actually only has one speaker in the bottom. And when it gets loud, it doesn't really sound really good. Uh, it, there's like no bass whatsoever anything no bass whatsoever in the sound so a lot of times when you put the music loud they might sound a little bit screechy especially if you're playing video games now maybe with some software you can actually fix it and add a little bit more bass or fix the sound or maybe another phone can have better sound than this because remember not all phones are built equally so maybe it's my device but honestly i don't think that the sound is really good also, one thing that I cannot forgive Sony, because remember, we're paying $349 or $399. And lately, there's been a lot of great budget phones with fingerprint scanners. Yes, fingerprint scanner is one thing that I, I have become adjusted to. And it's, I can't, right now, at this point, I can't have a phone without a fingerprint scanner because it makes my life a lot easier when it comes to unlocking the phone, when it comes to logging into application like my bank app, like also to remember passwords. Instead of remembering password, I can actually use my fingerprint and log into uh, um, secure sites and all that. And that's one thing that I can't enjoy from this phone. It kind of sucks because I've done reviews of other budget phones like the Huawei Honor 6X. It's way cheaper than this. It's like $250 and it has a great fingerprint scanner. Also, a couple weeks ago, I did a review for the Figo Gravity, which is $149 and it has a good fingerprint scanner as well. And, you know, come on, for $349 or three or $400, honestly, the Sony Xperia 1 should have have that feature. But other than that, guys, that's it for my review. Like I said, I really like this phone. The only thing that would keep me from using this phone is the fact that it doesn't have a fingerprint scanner. Um, yes, it doesn't have wireless scan, uh, wireless charging, but it's pretty good uh, i can't forgive that the wireless charging i can actually forgive that and the battery life is actually small 27 milliamp hour battery but sony is really really popular at doing at getting great battery life from their devices and here there is no exception they uh you get actually good battery life on this smartphone it has a good system with stamina and all that which actually extend the battery life for more than 10 hours of normal usage so i don't complain i can't complain about the battery but yes the only complaint i would have to say is no fingerprint scanner is the only thing that would keep me from using this phone but other than that if you're looking for a nice looking phone with a big screen and it looks beautiful and you like the sony brand um, this might be a good phone for you for $349 or 399 that would be awesome if you get it for cheaper than 349 even better but that's it for my video guys thanks for watching let me know what you guys think of my review and the other videos that i have uploaded already i'll leave links in my description that way you can actually see all the videos for gaming for camera and my unboxing video let me know if you like it leave a like and thanks for watching guys till next time